I'm John Champion and sitting alongside me up here in our lofty perch in the commentary box is Jim Beglin. Well, I think we're very fortunate to be sitting here watching this one, John. I'm really looking forward to what should be a really exciting match. And the perfect prelude to any big game, the UEFA Champions League anthem. Fantastic fans and a very proud tradition, Fiorentina, one of the bigger names in Italian football, nicknamed the Viola. That's violet coloured strip. Now let's see how both these teams will line up. And we're now underway. That's a throw. Here's Jovetic. Akinani. This could be interesting, drives it in. That was a super ball in. Yeah, the ball in there was simply superb. He won't be too happy that it's gone to waste like that. Pinto. Pushti. Loses out in a position of some promise. Here's Akilani. It's on for him. And Akilani. Quadrado. Pinto. Tocognoli, Pusti, Quadrado, he's looking for that right pass. A fine display of slick passing. He's latched onto it. It's come through to him nicely. Picked off there. Well, listen, when it's congested through the centre of the pitch like that, they'll threaten more from the wider positions. Onside. Well, they're just not realising their potential. They have to find an end product. He plays it through. Well, it's a sharper cutting edge they need in front of goal. 15 minutes have passed. The ball's over the line, and it's a corner. A 
ball in. And he's done well to get his head on that. Good strike, but straight at the keeper. Well, it turned out to be a decent save, although I'm not sure how much the keeper knew about it, even if he was well positioned. He sends it in. Breaking into space. Here comes the cross. They're not quite out of danger yet. Here's Jovetic. Cut out in a promising position. Wants to get this forward. Slides it through. It's true. Tries to slide it past the defence. Jovetic. Looking to carve open the defence. And they've hooked it clear. Here's a ball in. Header! Nearly, but in football terms, nearly is nowhere. Oh, listen, to come that close is a really, really good attempt. And judging by the crowd's reaction, they thought he'd done enough too. Squall. No, beaten to it. They may well get a bit more joy down the flanks. They'll certainly find more space out there. And Tony. Akilani. Got it. Pinto. Husti. He's looking to play it into the channel. Yeah, they're just finding it hard now to produce that extra bit of craft that can make all the difference. That key pass. Tried to play it through. And a header! These misses could be costly. Yeah, creating chances is not the problem here, but finding the back of the net is. They really should be scoring more here. Quadrado. Who's he going to pass to? Well, it's a sharper cutting edge they need in front of goal. Pinto. We've nearly reached the half-hour mark. Sends it to the middle, and it's hoofed away. Here's Aguilani. Poor challenge, free kick given, Fiorentina with this free kick, he knocks it in. Here's Pasquale. Steered away, they may well get a bit more joy down the flanks, they'll certainly find more space out there. An illegal challenge, says the ref. Ball in. Here's Jovetic. And Pasquale. Oh, it's been cut out. Well, they're just not realising their potential. They have to find an end product. Juru. The flag stays down. No, it's been picked off. And they switch it. Now Valero. 
Akilani. A chance. He waited far too long there. Oh, he was way too tentative there. It was almost like he was too afraid to miss it. The score's level just five minutes before half-time. Here's Jovetic. The ball's with Akilani. Pusti. Pinto. Wonderful through ball over the top. He's got in. Quadrado. He goes looking for his teammate. He's onside here. Oh, he's lost it. Jovetic. Tony. There goes the whistle, and it's half-time. Well, this has been such a poor effort from both sides. The keepers have been more or less redundant. Neither side conceding a goal, then. It is nil-nil. They've kicked off, the second half is now underway. Well, they're just not realising their potential, they have to find an end product. Akilani. Pusti. Tocognoli. Akilani. Here's David Pizzaro. Now Valero. Plays a long ball forward. Pusti. Good run down the side. Now, what next? Plays this forward. Some slick passing on display. What can they make of it? No, it's been cut out. And he launches it forward. It's on for him. Here's Aguilani. Oh, that's a vital block. Broken free on the wing. Crosses towards the centre. Pushti. Looking to thread it through. A cross takes a deflection off the defender, so a corner's given. Pocognoli. A header this time! 
and the keeper's there to claim it. That was such a good effort, despite the attention of his marker. I thought he did really well there. Approaching the hour mark. This is a promising run. Through and still going. The defence will have to be on its toes with this throw. Sends the cross to the back post. It's cleared. Well, it's a sharper cutting edge they need in front of goal. No, it was cut out. Well, they're just not realising their potential. They have to find an end product. Tocognoli. Throw in. This is lovely passing to watch. A header! Cleared away to safety. Ah, intercepted. It's a nice one too. Strikes it. They've scored. We finally have the goal that this game needed. Some admirable link-up play leading to that goal. Between them, they worked that little wall pass terrifically well, although it could have been better defended. So we start again at 1-0. Yeah, and they still have enough time to carve out a chance or two and get right back into this. He's looking to play it into the channel. That's clearly not what was intended. Well, it's a sharper cutting edge they need in front of goal. Chance for a counter then. Throw in, given away in a dangerous position. Sends it towards the centre. Oh, he wasn't taking any chances there. Great chance for the counter. Wants to get this forward. A cross coming in. And the cross is cleared. No, that's not going to make it. Cuadrado, 30 minutes played in the second half. Pushti. Here's Aguilani. Quadrado. Pizarro. Pizarro. Pasquale's cross. Well, I think it's that time when you have to commit numbers forward in the hope of grabbing an equaliser. I mean, defenders need to take that risk too now. You know what, they're knocking on the door, but they're running out of time. And they look for the spaces on the flanks. Heads it in! And how critical might that be for Fiorentina?
The cross was inch perfect. It demanded that finish. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. So we resume with the scores back level. Well, without doubt, that's given the coach food for thought. Does he settle for extra time or try to go for a winner before then? Decision time. Oh, flag up, just offside then. He'd straight off the last man, the referee's assistant, pretty alert. Lijajic. He's attacking down the flank. Pinto. Husti, who has an assist to his name. Bad challenge there, free kick given. And he goes for it. A decent chance wasted. Or well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Hits a ball in. Through it goes. Looking to carve open the defence. Sloppy pass, intercepted. Pizarro. Tried to play it through. Oh, a crucial intervention. Whacks it, and he makes absolutely no mistake. And that completes the comeback. A defensive howler punished emphatically. That's a really silly mistake to give the ball away there, but he's done really well to cut out the pass and get the finish away. Having completed this turnaround, can they now hold on? Oh, it's a huge goal at this stage, but I suspect they're going to have to dig deep for the next few minutes to try and see this one out. He's out of. And there is the final whistle. Resilient, you'd better believe it. They've turned an unpromising situation into a very fine win. Great effort, and that's a great result, even though they conceded the first goal. They kept their spirit intact, and it paid great dividends. And that's the end of tonight's broadcast from me, John Champion, and my co-commentator, Jim Beglin. A very good evening to you.